Apparently there's a new Planet of the Apes movie, news to me. And the new stars of the new Planet of the Apes movie, they've decided to really (laughs) reinvent their characters and reinvent the franchise because they are taking the side of the apes over the humans. Listen, obviously when I'm playing May, I'm I'm team human, but uh, I'm team ape. Freya's team ape. Oh, why why so? I I mean, look at the planet. (laughs) <laughs> oh, yeah, here look, we go. Look at what the humans have done to, to the Earth. Well, yeah, I, I, I dislike humans a lot. Yeah. You, know? Um, you know, there's the odd one that's like, no. I mean, there are, you know, there are times where you see humans come together and you go, oh, isn't this lovely? And then there's times where you go, I absolutely hate us. Yeah, uh, none of this surprises me at all. It's kind of funny because the whole point of Planet of the Apes is you're, you're on the side of the humans against these ape overlords and, and the new actors, they say, no, no, but in re- yeah, sure, in the movie, yeah, but in reality, I hate humans. Right. The liberals hate humans because, I'm just going to speak very bluntly here, because the liberals are largely enthralled to demons who hate humans and want to destroy us. That's, that's kind of it. The, <laughs> the spiritual darkness and principalities and powers of this world that I mentioned earlier, they they uh, are expressed politically through liberals who have a false anthropology and who whose policies are contrary to human flourishing. And you see this in really direct ways, like how they advocate killing as many babies as possible and killing old people and sterilizing human beings and encouraging people not to get married and encouraging people not to have babies. Even if you don't believe in spiritual reality, metaphysics, let's say you don't believe in angels and demons, uh, let's say you don't even believe in God, okay? If demons were to exist... I think we would all acknowledge that the sort of policies they would be pursuing are exactly these policies. Right? <laughs> Very anti-human, killing people off, not uh, making everyone miserable and raging and going out into the woods and beating up sticks and screaming, right? That's, that's, if there were such a thing as a demon, that, is, that would appear to me to be the kind of thing a demon would desire. Anyway, uh, this is how the liberals are. They are misanthropic. They don't like people. They like humanity in the abstract, but they don't really like people. And, and you see this expressed in a lack of charity because charity is one of the three theological virtues. We have the, the cardinal virtues, we have the natural virtues, intellectual virtues and moral virtues, you know, things like courage, justice, prudence, temperance. Then there's the theological virtues, faith, hope, and charity. And the greatest of these is charity, love for your fellow humans. So in a, it, it is kind of an odd reversal. For the libs, they love humanity in the abstract, but they hate the individual humans. For the conservatives, and especially for the Christians, we have a pretty dim view of humanity in the abstract because we're so fallen and we, and we know that, that uh, human nature is broken and we're not going to perfect it through our own efforts in this world. Ain't no utopia that we're going to arrive at here politically. But we love humans individually. Hence, a common expression, uh, hate, hate the sin, love the sinner. For the libs, it's totally the opposite. Great way to, great way to prove this, especially after, you know, Major Democrat politicians call for killing babies up to the moment of birth. Some of them call for them af- killing them after the moment of birth. Doesn't make many waves in politics. Christy Nome shoots her farm dog. That's all we hear about for two weeks. There was a study in 2013. 40% of people answered this study in a crazy way. The study said, if, if a stranger were drowning and your pet were drowning, who would you save? 40% said the pet. 46% of women said the pet. They would save the pet over a human being. That's how we think. That's how we think now. Very, very disordered. I mean, maybe we are living in a planet of the apes. We're being, we're being governed by very unreasonable sorts of leaders. Go to puretalk.com slash Knowles. As you plan your summer travel, make sure your wireless provider has you covered at home and abroad. Pure Talk is now providing international roaming to over 50 five zero countries. Pure Talk already puts you on America's most dependable 5G network, but now they're offering coverage in over 50 countries as well. Enjoy the freedom of unlimited talk, text, and ample 5G data for just $20 a month with Pure Talk. This is a deal that's hard to beat, costing you less than half of what you'd pay with other networks. Not only is their U.S. customer service team ready to assist you with a seamless switch, but they also have fantastic savings on the latest iPhones and Androids. Are you ready to make a smart switch? Well, join my cell phone company. Not a company that I own, it's just, but I have the phone and I have the service. Pure Talk 
Start saving today. Visit puretalk.com slash Knowles, Canada B-U-L-E-S, to explore their offers. When you make the switch, you'll enjoy an additional 50, 50% off your first month. Do not miss out on the opportunity to save on wireless at home and abroad. Visit puretalk.com slash Knowles, Canada B-U-L-E-S, puretalk.com slash Knowles today. Speaking of women, Gail King, who is the co-anchor of CBS Mornings. She's a longtime friend of Oprah Winfrey. There have always been these rumors that she and Oprah are, you know, like more than friends. But I don't, I don't know if that's true. I don't see any particular reason why that's true. Uh, but, but she's a big, she's a big lib. In lib media world, she is, if, she's not the queen, but she might be a princess or a duchess or something. Well, Gail King, at the age of 69, is making her debut as a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. And there are all sorts of pictures and videos of it. We don't need to see too many of them. She, she's a fine-looking woman for 69 years old. But this is not good. Now, I'm not sure that anyone has read Sports Illustrated in the last 15 years, and so they keep trying to pursue all these gimmicks, you know. But this is not good. It's weird. We all know it's weird. Even if Gail King were a supermodel, it's, it's still weird. It's age 69. And it's especially weird for just kind of normal looking 69 year olds. Why? Why is it wrong? Because this is not what 69 year old women are for. Okay, you know, a, you know a thing by what it is for. And 69 year old women are not for the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Whether you love Sports Illustrated, whether you like seeing women in skimpy little bathing suits, whether you think that's wrong and disordered and Sports Illustrated should go away and we shouldn't have whatever. I think we can all agree the the purpose of the swimsuit edition is not to show nearly 70-year-old women. And it's not the, the, the tea loss of a nearly 70-year-old woman to prance around in a bathing suit. Younger women, there's a good reason for them to prance around in a bathing suit sometimes because these younger women are going to attract a husband and then they're going to get married and they're going to have children. And there are certain things that that mothers do that single women don't do and vice versa. And there are certain things that older women do that younger women don't do and vice versa. But we deny that. We deny that anything has a purpose anymore that is objective. It's all just totally subjective and and subject to our own uh, will, not to reason. And we deny time. We deny aging. We deny history. We deny that things move and that there's a time for every season under heaven, a time for war and a time for peace, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to pose in skimpy outfits on Sports Illustrated and a time not to, to put the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue away. We deny that because we, we deny the body and we, we deny that we're going to die. No one ever, you know, in, in the past, at the height of our civilization, we would think about how we're going to die all the time because it's only from the perspective of death that we can understand our own lives and the purpose of our lives and how maybe we're not built for this world because we're not going to be here for very long and we need to think about eternal things. Are, is the soul going to persist after death? Is there something more here? If so, where are we going? What are we? That's going to affect very much how you live your life. We deny all of that. But it's all still true. Those, those facts of reality are all still there. And when we deny them, we just make ourselves look ridiculous on the cover of magazines in swimsuits. That was a great clip. And if you want more, you got to ring the bell. See you next time.